Um, and just finally I'll show you how to once you've got these agents in the scene um, there's not a lot you can actually do with them until you um, apply some sort of rendering effect to them um, they don't render by themselves and unless you're moving a, a scene item you won't see anything at all a um, couple of ways of doing that first and they probably the most common way that you'll interact with them is to use the instancer the flocking system creates a basic light wave particle system and this is how the instancer interacts with it so if I just load in a so I've loaded in a fish object here just shrink that down a bit if we add the fish local and particles you can see there that the fish has now been applied to all of those agents Yeah, a bit dark, you can't see it. Hang on. There. So you can see now that the fish has been applied to all those agents. We now have something in the scene that we can use to visualize all those positions with. And then we have a fairly nice school of fish swimming along that path where the agents were before. And you can also so for example I'll just turn this off you can also apply hypervoxels to these so if we just load up the hypervoxel panel um, so for example surface HVs and you can see there the um, surface, surface, surface hypervoxels being rendered on top of the on top of the agents and you can produce some fairly interesting um, fluid effects because the agents tend to clump together so as you can see there the um, you know the blobs not breaking up it's moving quite nicely through space there um, so you shade that up like a you know, liquid metal or whatever So that's another way that you can interact with um, with flocking systems by using hypervoxels. Uh, I hope the um, this quick introduction to the flocking system has um, explained a little bit about how the system works and um, some of the things you can do with it. So thank you for watching.